على عهد على ديني على أرض تلاقيني أنا لهلي أنا فديه أنا دم فلسطيني 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 أنا دم فلسطيني على أرض تلاقيني <laughs> notice the madakhila more notably. The super salafi as well, but more notably the madakhila who raised his book like the, the Jews treat the Talmud like the Jews treat the Talmud. Is that they always bring the uh, you know quote from Imam al Bahari as you can see on screen that whoever uh, rebels against the ruler and the Imams and the Muslims from the Imams and the Muslims, he's a Khadiji, have separated the, the you know the staff of the Muslims and he has opposed the text and dies the death of Jahiliyyah. And then he says, it's not permissible to fight the Sultan and to rebel against him, even if they are oppressive. And as the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam advised Abu Dhar al-Ghafari, be patient even if the slave was an, uh, even if the ruler was an a Ethiopian slave. Uh, and his statement towards the Ansar, be patient until you meet me at the Hawr. These statements are repeated quite often from the Madakhila, you know, and they always use these statements to, and they, they, they make tabdi on people because of that. What they don't tell you is that Barbahari actually himself weren't patient with the rulers and was a rebel. Now when we say khuruj, he didn't actually do khuruj in terms of trying to topple them, but he wasn't patient with the ruler and he actually challenged the authority and to the point he went into hiding and died in hiding and he used to riot, you know, and cause havoc. So he weren't what you call a law-abiding citizen if you want to call him that. He was quite aggressive and he, he, to the point that the Khalif sought for him. He used to destroy shops and he was, you know, they, they, they were robbed, they were rioters and they, were, they had mobs and stuff. So Barbahari himself was quite aggressive, as you can see on screen. We got the book Seer Al-A'lam Al-Ubala, okay, by Imam Al-Dahabi. And he mentions that Barbahari uh, used to strive hard and he stood for the religion. And he used to oppose and get the Sultan angry. And they ordered for his arrest. So he went into hiding. Okay, he went into hiding. And then the story goes on and on. Then he went to Basra, etc. And then Barbahari returned, etc. And it just carries on to the point that Barbahari himself was a bit of a fire starter. The Sultan weren't happy with him. So he didn't listen and obey his ruler. Okay, but Bahai didn't listen to and obey his ruler. So you can see these statements from Shah Sunnah, okay, about you know whoever rebels against the ruler. Now technically speaking, but Bahari rebelled against his ruler, meaning he opposed his ruler. He weren't patient with his oppression because the Khalif. We're going to get to the biography of the Khalif as well. He didn't obey him, even if he was oppressive. But Bahari opposed him, and he got the Sultan angry to the point that they used to cause so much problems. He ordered his arrest, and he went into hiding. They mentioned in the history of Muhammad bin Mahdi in the year 310 that basically Bar Bahari went into hiding, and this is also collaborated, uh, as you can see on screen by uh, Tabaqat al Hanabila, and he mentions the same thing that he says that Bar Bahari used to strive hard and stand for the religion a lot, and he used to oppose and get the Sultan angry. Okay, and in the year 310, the Khalif which is who? Qahir, meaning Qahir Billah. And his wazir, okay, wanted to grab hold of Barbahari, to grasp him, but, you know, to put him under arrest, but he went into hiding, okay? And they grabbed a majority of his companions, and they kept him in Basra, etc., etc. Then he mentions at the bottom, as you can see, he mentions that Barbahari was obviously, you know, the, the, the Haris, the, the, the guards, were, and the police sought after Barbahari and, and his companions. And what happened? Uh, they basically went into hiding and as you can see here right at the bottom and then he mentions that he died in hiding okay he died in hiding and this was in Rajab in 329 so Barbahari himself okay Barbahari himself was a bit of a rebel and he didn't listen to his rulers and his rulers were angry with him and he went into hiding so when you when you read in here whoever obeys and does not listen to the ruler etc etc Barbahari was a bit of a rebel himself Barbahari was a bit of a a, a muscular hanbali, you know, was to go out and cause aggression and riot and, and fighting as you know, look what he did uh, with the uh, people who believed in the Shafa'ah. They fought and they killed and they, he didn't listen to all his rulers, you know, he was uh, uh, causing havoc, etc. Now, as you can see on screen, Ibn Mutawakkil, he was the son of Mutawakkil. And basically, going into the biography, he says, وَلَمْ يُكُنِ الْقَاهِرْ مُتَمَكِّنًا مِنْ الْأَمُورِ He says that Qahir didn't really establish and settle the matters, meaning he wasn't really in control of the affairs. That he had a Rafidi with him who used to curse Muawiyah. 
He used to curse him on the member. وَقُبِدَ عَلَى الشَّيْخِ الْحَنَابِلَ الْبَرْبَهَارِ He wanted to arrest the Sheikh of the Hanabila al-Barbahari. So even though he had a wazir as a Shi'i Rafidi, okay, remember, you cannot rebel. You have to listen and obey your ruler. Listen and obey your ruler means generally listen and obey in his affairs. You cannot go and riot and you can't go and start you know, attacking people's houses like you did with Imam Tabari, etc. So the point I'm raising is that Barbahari, when he writes whoever rebels against a ruler, technically speaking, he didn't listen to his ruler. He didn't listen to him. did not obey him. So, this statement here, whoever rebelling as a ruler, etc, 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 it shows the actions of Barbahari and his life. You see, he, had, he, he oppressed Imam al-Tabari, he had arguments with uh, Abu Hassan al-Ashr, which led him to write al-Ibana and Asul al-Diyana. He went and fought people, rioting, looting. You know, you can just read his life. Barbahari was very, very uh, aggressive and, you know, a person that really didn't take no for an answer. على عهد على ديني على أرض تلاقيني أنا لهل أنا فديه أنا دم فلسطيني 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 أنا دم فلسطيني